My friend, my friend, I had a wonderful request. Just my imagination. Make sure we're in tune. Here's the high G. C. E. Und E. The chords for this song are going to be C major. We're going to have a C sus4. And we're going to have a F major. And yes, we could even throw in a... F major 7 every once in a while if we want to. But what we're going to go through is a basic dynamic understanding and strumming pattern. So you can play this for your friends or for a group in a gig situation. Here we go. When we start off, maybe just start off with whole notes. What this does is when later in the song you're playing, it'll open up for a little bit more expression with those chords. Watch what we're doing here. If in the beginning you're gonna do the ooze, you would just go back and forth and have like a Then when you go to sing is day through my window I watch her Notice how I went from whole tones strumming into half tones. Said to myself, you're such a lucky guy. To have a girl like her. Notice how I went into eighth notes here. Down, 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 down. Truly dream come true. to tap the fretboard as rests. When we originally did this, we could go, it was just my imagination. Running around with me. And it's just my imagination. See how I'm using those rests to my advantage? When we go into the next verse, we'll have the same thing. Go back to the soon we'll be married and raise a family. Oh, yeah. A cozy little home in the country. Two children, maybe three. Now, double your hand here. I tell you, I can't visualize. to an atonal groove after it goes through the first, second, third, fourth verses. So once we have that, we're going to be staying on the C major for that every night I pray on my knees. It is interesting to do a C with that G in note, C with that G up top, play the F underneath that C, which would be a C sus4, because we're putting the C, D, E, F note on top of there. Makes it feel like it's hovering above our head. And adds some suspense. And then it goes to the E. So we haven't changed from the C major. C major with the G, C major with an F, C major with an E. Cool, you could even do a, I wouldn't do the C sharp, but like a D note underneath there would be a good movement. If you're not already familiar with a C major scale, C, D, open E first finger for the half step onto F, whole step to G, open for the A, second finger, second fret for the B, and then half step with that third finger for the C major, you know. We'll be able to go through these every night I pray on my knee. It gives you something to do while you're just grooving on that C A tonally. 
And eventually we're going to hit an F, and then out of that we go into the G7. That G7 functions as a lending chord, or otherwise known as a B diminished. That's a little too much theory, but use that just the same to go. So the buildup is the dynamic part. You're gonna go through it slowly. Keeps going along those lines. And then we're gonna be putting it with that double down. These are gonna be half notes. And then all down strokes or down, 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 down gives a little difference. Remember when you're strumming, not to make it all one sound. Try and make it slow and quiet in the beginning and draw an audience in. And then towards the end of it, it was just my imagination. Running around with me. About here, get a little louder. If you want to see what I'm doing there, I'm doing a downstroke, slam, strum. Just my imagination. Little percussion thing underneath, but it's a little advanced. Other than that, have fun with the song. If you want to try out a cool melody, take that C major and play a G shape at the seventh fret and play around with those notes. Hello.